Hi, this is Anthony Gettig with the Pro Tools for VoiceOver blog. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create what I call a killer VoiceOver template for Pro Tools. Uh, there's another video where I create a very basic, basic template. Uh, well, we're going to take those ideas and really expand upon them. Okay. So um, unless you have the Quick Start dialog already up there, you'll go up here and choose File, New Session. What we're going to do is create the session that we want just the way we like it so that every time we open a new session we want it to look just like that we're gonna save that as a template so here we go uh, again file new session wave 16-bit that's fine sample rate 44 one again the only catch here if you're doing a lot of video you may want to set that to 48k and uh, IO settings are for my interface which is a fast track C600 right now. I'm going to say OK. It's going to ask me where to save it. I'm going to call it my killer VO template. That's just, it's, we got to save it somewhere to, to create it. We're, we'll end up toasting that later, anyways, when, after it's saved as a template. OK, so we're going to come in here and create five different tracks. I'll explain what they are as we go along. So I'll go up to track and then new. First thing we're going to do is create three mono audio tracks. Add another row to create two new mono AUX inputs. And click Create. All right, there we go. Now we want to come over here and name these right away. Our first audio track we're going to name Raw. This is just the raw voiceover with no processing whatsoever. And then um, come over here and we'll rename track number two. We're going to call this EQ and gate. And accordingly, we'll add a little comment here to say this will have an EQ and gate applied. There we go. I click next and let's create uh, rather name the next track. We're going to call this broadcast. So this is going to have EQ gate, compression, and mastering. Alrighty. Now, so those are the, those are the three tracks. Again, raw audio here. This track here is just going to have EQ and a noise gate. This one's going to be loaded up pretty good. Uh, <laughs> let's name our AUGS tracks. AUGS 1, we're going to make this very simply the EQ and the gate augs and then the next one is going to be our broadcast augs say okay there we go right away i see an issue um if you want to set your your track height here um i i usually grab the zoom tool and then hold down control and set it the way to about where i want it to be there we go let's set those bad boys there we go, that's good. Okay, now let's go over to the mix window. You go up to window and choose mix, or you can hit command equals or control equals if you're on Windows. And uh, there we go, we have our tracks. What we're gonna do is set this up so that these three audio tracks receive input from the appropriate source, whether it's raw, whether it is EQ with a gate applied or with the, the whole shebang. So let's, let's get right into it. First of all, track one, raw. C600, channel one, that's fine. I just, that's what I want. I just want the raw with no processing. That track is all set. Okay, now in order, in order to do the next two, we need to set up our AUGS tracks first. Let's look at the um, EQ and gate. What I'm gonna do is very simply add an EQ and again, I'm just gonna go with factory defaults here with stuff. I'm gonna choose a vocal, male vocal, seven band. The reason I'm doing that is my microphone does not have a roll off switch for low end. So you can see here, this is rolling off the low end, adding a little presence here and there. I'm just gonna stick with the factory defaults. You could tweak this to your heart's delight if you wanted to on your system. And then I'm going to add in a gate. And again, real simple, factory default, vocal expander. It's one of the things I really like about Pro Tools is the plugins are really mature and all their presets are, I mean, they've taken years to uh, 
to get these about right and and it's it's good stuff okay so there we go i have this set up first it's going to run through eq then it's going to go through the gate the order in which these are listed here is the order in which they get processed so now that we know what the processing is we have to tell it what are we going to process and where are we going to send it so here you go our input for this augs is going to be the channel one on my interface which is my microphone great so this is the same signal same input as the raw track okay but it's going to have all this stuff applied to it the output this is what we're really interested in here the output we're going to send the output to a bus a mono bus bus one remember that bus one so it takes the same microphone signal does this stuff to it and outputs it to an internal routing mechanism called a bus and so it's going to output to bus one we come over here to our eq and gate track we're going to tell the input of this track to be bus one yeah so all this stuff happens and then shows up over here on this track right it's kind of like uh it's almost like pro tools has a patch bay inside of it and you're just moving the wires around to tell this to go there <laughs> and that to go there so okay so we've got that down for this one now we have to set up our broadcast dogs could i just very simply tell the input here to be bus one and then add extra processing yeah i could i'm not going to do that though i'm actually just going to recreate the whole thing i'm going to tell it uh, to be my microphone input and i'm going to come up here and add the same plugins okay yes i know i could there's a keyboard shortcut to copy and move these all over but i think it's good to see all these again again the male vocal seven band going into the gate there we go very simple vocal expander and now i'm going to add a compressor to the mix again going with the factory defaults just going to level things off a bit which uh, provides a, a, a three to one ratio it's it's fine and then uh, one more plug-in a dynamics called maxim and this just uh, i don't know it's kind of like normalizing but i just choose the uh, cd mastering preset and there we go Alrighty, so our microphone coming in on channel one is going to go through all this stuff in that order now we're going to output this to bus two all right so this one's going out to bus one this one's going to bus two so of course we're going to come over here to our broadcast track tell the input to be bus two okay let's step back and take a look here our raw vo track the input is very simply the microphone on our eq gate track the input is bus one which is our eq and gate augs is doing all this processing outputting it to bus one and we're going to take that as the input for this track and our broadcast track nice and punchy and full and probably over processed um bus two is the input there because we've got that coming on this augs track sends it out to bus two and then that becomes the input over here so again, it's, it's kind of like there's a patch bay and there's just wires going from here to there and from there to here inside of Pro Tools. Okay, I think we're pretty well set up here. Let's come back over here to the edit window. I like to uh, resize my tracks a little bit. Um, to be honest, a lot of times I use the EQ and gate one just because then I can add additional processing later if I wanted to. And uh, we can make these, well, maybe not that small. There we go. We'll just make these smaller and uh, i like these to start off muted okay we're good to go there now let's uh, add uh, a few uh, assets to this to help us out here one thing i like to do is uh, i'm a visual guy so what i'll do is uh create here i'm going to create just selecting them a bunch here and probably i'll zoom in a little bit there we go I'm going to select like 15 seconds. There we go. All right, I'm gonna, this is just 15 seconds of nothing, okay? <laughs> I'm going to then um, come up here and I'm going to consolidate this into a clip. So I'll go up to edit and then consolidate clip. 
boom, I have 15 seconds of nothing. Okay. And I'm going to name this 15 second slug. This is this, this way when I'm recording and I just want to get a visual of, you know, how long is this? That just helps me to see that. Okay. Now I want a 30 second one. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate this clip by hitting command D on my keyboard. And then I'll consolidate those. Make one. I'm going to call this 30 second slug. Hey, hey. Again, I'm working on a 30 second spot. There we go. I can get kind of a visual of what that ought to be. Now, you 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 guessed it. Yep. Got to do a 60. So here we go. We'll call this our 60 second slug. All right. So I'm going to delete that now, but you'll see over here in the clips list, those are there. And when we save the template, we're going to save these with it. Um, by the same token, say you had some standard music beds that you used or uh, some, uh, some jingles that, uh, uh, you know, you, you did the insert for the donut or something like that. This is, this is great. I mean, you could just save those in here with the template, and that way every time you start a new session for that client, those assets are ready to roll. Okay, I think we have our uh, I think we have our session set up pretty much uh, the way we want it here. So we're going to save this as a template. Come up here to File, Save as Template, and we're going to install it into our VO Templates category. I've got other categories here, some of which come with with um, with Pro Tools. Some of them are custom created, like VO Templates. Name Killer VO Template. That's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. I say OK. Now, one thing I didn't do there that I wanted to, I'm going to save that as a template again, is to include the media. <laughs> okay, so include the media. We're going to, uh, that way all of those uh, little clips, the 15, 30, and 60 second slugs get saved. Say okay, and there we go. All righty. We can now close this session. File, close session, no need to save it. And in fact, you see it here on the desktop, I can actually just come over here and, and trash that right now. So now let's come up here and choose new session, file in the new session. And we will see there's our killer VO template. All right. So uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. We can change any of these, any of these parameters if we wanted to. I'm going to say, okay, where do we want to save it? Again, we'll save it to the desktop. I'm going to call this my... Uh, broadcast uh, session I don't know save it creates everything and uh, there we go we've got our new session up and running we have our raw our EQ our broadcast tracks great we are ready to roll now um, you'll also see we over here we have the clips the 15 the 30 and the 60 so say I'm working on a 30 second something and I'm just gonna use my um, EQ and and gate, or uh, better yet, let's say I'm going to use broadcast. Just move that baby up here. Open it up a little bit. Well, you get the idea. So now I want to say I just want to focus on this 30 seconds where I'm going to be recording. I can get a visual idea after my editing. Am I within the 30? Yes, I know. I can select it and see the exact time and whatnot. But again, I'm a visual guy. This stuff helps me. Anyways, so there you go. There's a more complex voiceover template if you need to record raw audio, if you need to record broadcast ready, or uh, just, you know, slightly processed with some EQ and some noise gate applied. you got a template that will help you do that uh, for any, any of those scenarios. Again, this is by no means uh, exhaustive or comprehensive. Um, you, I mean, sky's the limit here. I mean, use your creativity. You can scale this down. You can scale it up, whatever you want to do. I hope it is of use to you. <laughs> Take care, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.